Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Leela Foss, and I'm a clarinetist with the United States Army Band Pershing Zone, and today I'm going to talk to you about articulating or tonguing on the bass clarinet, starting with the mouthpiece and the neck. The thing I always think of when I'm about to articulate or tongue on a clarinet is the tip of the tip of the tongue to the tip of the tip of the reed. Tip of the tip of the tongue to the tip of the tip of the reed. And what that basically means is we're going to use the very, very tip, very tip of your tongue to touch as close to the tip of the reed as you possibly can. Part of the reason we do that is to reduce the motion. You don't want to be articulating pretty heavily, especially with this large of a reed. So if you just think of it's just the very tip of the tongue on the very tip of the reed, that's going to save you a lot of heartache in the long term. The other thing to think about, when we tongue on the clarinet or any instrument, we don't stop our air when we're articulating. It's as though you have a hose, and when you're articulating or tonguing on the instrument, you're basically just putting your thumb over the end of the hose to stop it, but there's still all of that water coming from behind it. For example, if I was going to articulate on this, it would sound like this. So what I'm doing is slowly taking the tip of my tongue and tapping the reed. And every time I tap it, it stops the vibration, which stops the sound. So the way that I like to think about this at the beginning, I'm going to slowly move my tongue towards the tip of the reed while keeping my air constant. And you'll see that it sounds kind of like this fuzzy as I slowly stop the vibration of the reed. This is what that sounds like. And you notice when the sound stopped, I was still pushing my air. I was still supporting my, my efforts there. I didn't just stop the air because I stopped the sound. If I did that long enough, I would turn blue and I'd need to breathe. So let's try a little exercise. I'm going to use my finger and what I want you to do is pretend that this is what you are doing as you start tonguing on the instrument. So you're going to make a sound. I'm going to move this finger and when you see it touch the tip of this mouthpiece, I want your tongue to touch the tip of your mouthpiece while you're playing. And as it comes away, I want your tongue to come away and then to go back. So see if you can follow what I'm doing with my finger. So you're going to start making a sound. Da, ah, na, ah, 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 ah. Did you get it? So now let's try it together. I'll conduct us. We're going to do half notes on and half notes off. When we're not playing, I still want you to be pushing your air as though you would run out of it eventually. So it'll be like this. <laughs> 